This is the word to go, yo. Go, yo. Well, hello, all you gorgeous people out there. Well, welcome to God TV um, show on YouTube. We're so excited. You know, don't forget to use that God TV as a hashtag. That's right. Mm -hmm. like to, we would like to hear all, all what, what you're saying out there. Yeah. And don't forget to um, hit that likey, likey. That little thumbs up down there, right down there, right below, right below. And don't forget, the most important is subscribe. Yes. Subscribe. Do it. Yes. Do it. You won't miss an episode ever. It's your favorite. That bell icon. I missed that my little bell speech. I, did, I got so excited. I tried to knock my computer off the thing. <laughs> Ladies, I'm so excited. The excitement. I'm yeah, and I'm excited for our guest today, but I'm also really excited. It's a new month and um, for our YouTube memberships. We've been having so much fun since we moved over from Patreon to mm -hmm. YouTube. Um, so you guys just make sure you check the description. Mm -hmm. You can see in the description. You can also see our store down there. It's floating below, but you can see the description and all our perks and all the kind of fun things. All yeah. the fun things. We've made all the, the things. things. All the things. All the things as Mickey All loves. the things. All the the store, thing. the podcast form, YouTube memberships. Very, very important. If you want to be a member of Team Gaw, you got to get the whole story. You got to see the full episodes on the, the full YouTube Monty. memberships. The full, we're, we're revealing the full Monty on our YouTube memberships. <laughs> Early access to episodes, full length episodes. You're only getting like half the story here as an unpaid member of YouTube. So lots to see there. But you guys, speaking of lots to see, we have had some of the best guests, I mean, ever. And God just keeps getting bigger and bigger. And we have heard you guys talk about who you want to see on the show. This is a very requested guest. So ladies and gentlemen, you might know him as Bubba Ray Dudley. You might know him as Bully Ray. He is a legend in our entertainment industry. Let's give a little cheers to our guest, Bubba slash Bully Ray. Woo! <laughs> Uh oh, oh, running. No. Oh, they're running. He's in his it's busted a... open space. His <laughs> professional. <laughs> he says, Sup, chicks. Oh. Hey, chicks. Hey, Bubba. Thank you for Hello. being on our show. Be thank you for be being on our show. We're so I excited. A, I got a full bottle of Grey Goose. Oh, wow. my God. You're doing oh, it really right. Doing. You're doing God's work. Welcome. Oh, you must have you must have read our welcome sheet. You must have welcomed. Come on, Schmallery. <laughs> Who you dealing with? This, this is one of those shows where I feel like we sometimes say, like, listen, if you don't want to have a cocktail, that's okay. You know, this is a drink and a shot type of episode, I think. Okay. <laughs> okay. I may have to okay. run downstairs if we're doing shots. Shot, shot, oh, shot, 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 shot. Everybody, everybody is dressed and Val, you said I had to be in I had to be in pajamas. <laughs> Yes, I did. So I fell for that old gag. <laughs> no, we, we we do we do want you to be comfy, cozy as as yeah. much as you want. But then we were thinking today, we were all talking, we we're all excited about the episode, and I said, "What if we go full aces and eights, bro, and we wear all the all the leather, the yeah, leather we headband, we the, the leather jacket, the leather." But how we start the show? How we start the show? Where are you going? Where, Where are you going? I'm not going because... nowhere. Hold on. Oh, okay. Show and tell. <laughs> oh, <laughs> look at his setup. It's so we professional. It's I know. Totes, it's totes profesh. Yeah. Bingo. Wow. You wow. still got one of those. You still got wow. it. Full blown aces and eights. There you go. Right. That is beautiful. Wow. We oh thought we would God. look cool for you. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. all look, we look super, tough. Like we could be bikers. Super tough, super biker, and super hot. That's all I care about. <laughs> you know? yeah. Well, we're going to we start off the show. Um, Bubba is um, what you're drinking and what you're wearing, but we kind of already went into that a little yeah. bit. That's well, all right. I'm, I'm drinking a uh, full bottle of Grey Goose. The whole thing. I don't know if I'm going to get through <laughs> the whole thing. I got through an entire bottle of Terramana tequila one night on a busted open. No, wait. I got through three quarters of a bottle of The Rock's name yes. drop, Terramana, yeah. on a busted open video, and then I finished it the next morning, so... Here we go. Yeah. Damn. Oh my Ooh. God. Yep. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to that. Here's to the first uh gaw shot of the night. Yeah. Yes. Gaw shot. I have a shot, but I'm gonna I'm gonna let Lisa go next because Lisa Lisa rocks the all black on many occasions. But what are you who are you wearing and what are you drinking, Lisa? Well, you know, it's slimming. The black is slimming. <laughs> I do it purposely. I do it purposely, you guys. Okay. You know, Tommy. Is Dreamer, that why I Dreamer? Yes, I drink. We both love our Heel. high waist uh, stuff and our little cincher and everything, but I'm wearing uh, 
a jacket, the black leather jacket. It's actually Ooh, black. Look at the gold. Leather. That's fancy. You see oh, the yeah. black widow? Um, Danny yeah. Ray, who is victoriaweb.org, who helps us with our show, um, got this for me as a gift. I'm just wearing a turtleneck because it's freezing ass cold. And oh, I actually so cool. stepped it up. I got a, a bottle of wine that was $9.99, not my $4.99, guys. Whoa, whoa, uh, whoa. Fancy, Sterling? fancy. Sterling? Wow. I don't know. It tastes the same. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> Disappointed. I like, a, I like a good bottle of wine. Yeah. I do too. I do too. Yeah. 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 Yeah, what thing. are you drinking, Mickey? Um, I'm also drinking wine, and I thought Lisa would be proud of me because this is obviously, I think this was from the Krog, Kroger, but you, you can see it was on sale for $10.30. It's, Al, it's Alamos Malbec. Yeah. Oh, Malbec. Yeah. That's, Malbec's nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah I like it. And let's see that huh? jacket. Let's see that jacket. So this is yeah. my, I, so it's one of my jackets. I have my look. Oh, yeah. But it was the only it's that or this other. I have two black leather jackets. One has a hood and it's not so. And then this is the jazzy one. Weren't you totally wearing that in the ring one time when you stiffed the shit out of me? <laughs> Get right into it. I told Val about this. I boxed her about it. You did. Bubba. <laughs> she did. I and can I tell you so hard her Bubba impression spot on it was pretty you, good right you have a yes, bubba impression she sure does i called you out now you have to do it no i don't know if i, I could do it on the spot my new york accent is terrible anyway you slap me so hard <laughs> perfect i feel like it's the same person <laughs> she cracked me twice what happened yes Oh, we had a little disagreement in the ring. You know, I kind of slammed her. I got in her face. I said some things to her. And then she cracked me it, right in the jaw. Right in the okay. jaw. This is right after we had a concussion protocol meeting where you're not supposed <laughs> to get hit in this area right here. Yeah. So then Stiffy McGee over there decided to crack me in the jaw with her <laughs> giant Seinfeld episode man hands. They do. Lisa has big hands too. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. Brooke Tessmacher, Mickey James, myself have the biggest hands in the locker room. Yeah. Including with, with the guys also. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody yeah. put their hands like... up to the screen. Put your hands up. Look at those. Look at yeah. those meat. Val has like chick hands. I have yes. yeah. freakishly <laughs> small hands. Yeah. Little dainty hands. I and do. small Carlita feet. used to do this thing. Lisa, do you remember? Carlita used to do the thing where we'd start to get the clap and we'd do the slow clap and he would come and stop us because he was like, he's checking the foundation. The vibration, the vibration yeah. he was feeling from us. We had, we had Brooke on the show and like, no joke, we did like a hand comparison and it was hysterically funny. Like even on camera, you can tell those are ham hocks. I will tell yeah. you, um, I am also trying to be cool with, with my leather jacket. It's very, very much. Oh, look at the friend. I think that's River Island. Uh, and I thought, Ooh, how can I val it up? Well, I'm going to California little headband. It's leather. What do I, what do I, what do I do? You have a leather headband. Le leather. Leather headband. Of course you leather. do. Yeah. Why not? A little accessory. Why not? You know, what, what, what am I? Five. Uh, so I've got um, a lovely French wine, red wine. Cote de Rome is what I drink when I am in France. If you can see that. Yeah. Are you in France? I am not, but I am going in June and I go very often. The coolest thing about living in the UK is that I can go to Paris and live my Emily in Paris, Carrie Bradshaw fantasy. And I do. And I did prepare a shot ski and it's, it's a bit of a weird one. This is called, <laughs> I did not drink most of this. This is our guest, but this is Italicus. You guys ever heard of this? It's a beautiful what bottle. What is it? It is pretty. It is, it's an Italian, uh, you, you can mix it with Prosecco, but it's an Italian like bergamot uh, liqueur. It's real pretty. It's oh, like it's pretty. Bottle. Yeah, it's so, pretty. I've never heard of it. I'm Fancy gonna shot it like it's either. white girl no tomorrow. whiskey. Yeah, so that's that's my ammo. So cheers. Cheers One to shot, that. Cheers to Bubba. Cheers to Bubba. <laughs> I'm so shocked. I'm I'm so happy to have you on the show, Bubba. Why? I never thought we'd get you. I never thought you'd come on. Why? I don't know. Val asked, and what did I say? You said, of course. And then you also said, and I quote, direct quote, I'm going to get you wenches wasted. <laughs> yep. I was like, just like old times. This is perfect. Wenches. Wenches. Wench, <laughs> Wench girl wasted. 
By the way, we're talking about, uh, you know, Mickey, you know, clapping you in the jaw and stuff. What about the time? And I just, weirdly enough, I just saw this on Twitter. When y'all put Dixie through a table, that yeah. was effing huge. And I, I'm not saying I forgot about it, but so, like I just saw the clip on Twitter and I went, dear God, what the hell was the preparation for that? And how did, how did she agree? I mean, she got a lot of street cred for it, to her credit. Street you know, cred. Street cred. <laughs> You got to give her credit. She she definitely took it like a champ. Yeah. Um, Val, are you in England right now? Yeah. This is a, okay, so the, my idea to put Dixie through a table actually came to me in Birmingham, England. Okay. At the NEC Arena in Birmingham. And yeah. I remember talking to John Gaborik, who was the head of creative at the time. Mm -hmm. And I said, listen, I got an idea. It's a story that'll play out for about six months. And I guarantee you, by the time we get to the end of this story, the ratings will be up and we will pop a rating for this final moment. We'll catch lightning in a bottle. And he's like, all right, what do you got? And I gave it to him. And I, and I told him the story of, you know, Bully and Dixie and everything that would happen after the aces and eights. And I said, and it culminates with me guaranteeing to put Dixie through a table at a certain time, at a certain place, um, on a certain day. Mm -hmm. And he go, and he looks at me, he goes, you're out of your fucking mind. And I said, okay. And I got up out of my seat and I was walking out of his office in the arena and I turned around and I go, you know, it'll work. And before I can get both feet out of the door, he goes, wait, 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 come back in. And he goes, how do we do it? And then I knew him. I had him on the hook right there. Yeah. So then I said, yeah. this is how we do it. This is how we play it. And this is how we make it happen. I had to remind him that I, you know, my entire career was spent putting women through tables. So yeah. if I can do it to an 80 year old woman, you know, yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually it was May, you know, it was May. It was May. yeah, May but Mula May. wanted to do it too. Um, you know, but you know, from Stacy to Terry to, 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 to you, you too, Lisa, yeah. you got me too. Yeah. When? I asked you her about me too. We started. Yeah. I had like so many of you. I had so many of you. I forgot. <laughs> Wait, wait, so where funny. did we do you? I don't remember the buildings like you guys do. Um I, I'm pretty sure you no, maybe not through a table. Was, didn't the Godfather here. put you through a table? Yeah, yeah, yes. You did the one after that Godfather thing. put you through a table. I was like, that's it, we're done. Because that was one of the stiffest table bumps I had ever seen. They he did not think I was gonna break you yes. like a man. They did not think that I can break the table. And I'm like, I think I weigh the same as uh, Spike Dudley. I think I can break the table. Um, and he whipped me and um, he still apologizes. Every time I see him at a Comic-Con or a WrestleCon or something, he's like, I want to, that's the first question that people ask is like, what did, that's, and when I went backstage, Undertaker goes, did she owe you money or something? That was, yeah, that was, that was crazy. Yeah, I props, cause that's the one that I remember other than any of the ones that me and Devon did to any woman, that's the one that sticks out in my head the most. Cause he really gave it to you. Not like you can't take it. You're one of the toughest women I've ever met, but you know, um, d d like that was stiff. And I was green, yeah, I was green. Yeah. I was green too, yeah. So that's, that, you know, I told Gabor Gaborik about the idea and I said, this is how we'll go about it. And, you know, for six months, this entire story played out. And I'm very proud to say that by the time we got to that final episode, we did a 1.4 rating. Yeah. And when you think about it, a 1.4 rating for Impact was real strong. It was TNA at the time. Really, really strong number. So um, that's that's really the Dixie story. You know, she said she broke her back, which when she went to the doctor, I guess they found like two little hairline fractures that she probably could have got like slipping in the bathtub also. Um, she did, she, she did a great job. She took it perfectly. It's probably one of the cleanest of all of the table bumps that I ever gave to a woman. It might be the cleanest one ever. Wow. All right. Because she that she really she did it she she did a great job with it and as you saw you know if you remember the arena went crazy the boys went crazy and and I told her I said you're gonna be in the fans eyes you will be a martyr 
for, yeah. for TNA. They're going to appreciate you for what you did. I said, you're going to be so over on social media. Eyes lit up. <laughs> there you go. He was closed. <laughs> But yeah, the, getting back to the school Val, the, all of the old school, uh, all old school respect for this industry is what I try to instill in my students, and I've been trying to do that from day one. the The motto of the Team Three D Academy is old school rules, new school tools. All of the old school respect that this industry was built on, the solid foundation of how to come up the right way in the business with the new school tools, meaning psychology and promo style and everything that you need to make it in the industry today. And we try to bring that all together. And, and you know, my school, you, you stay there for a year. I don't let you out unless I think you're ready to leave. And one of the best compliments that I've ever been paid was by Ric Flair. He said, Bubba, I might never see one of your students wrestle, but I always know when one of your students introduces themselves to me. Oh, that's, that's nice. nice. That's all I need to, that's all I need to know. Yeah. Because yeah. they do it in such a respectful manner and the right way. You know what I hate? I hate it when, like, like, let's say, Lisa, me and you were having a conversation, right? We're just talking, blah, blah, blah. And then young boy, whoever, decides to come up and stand right next to us where you're forced to just go, like. Yes. And they're like, oh, I'm sorry to interrupt, but my name is so-and-so. It's like. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You, you could have. You could wait for a different, like they're so waiting to try to do the right thing that they're screwing it up for themselves by actually yeah. interrupting. There's right. a time and a place to introduce yourself. Don't yeah. do it while somebody's putting a fork in their mouth, probably dreamer, or, you know, talking to one another. Mickey, you shake your head no, but you laugh so hard because you know it's funny, but you don't want Tommy to know that you you're love, laughing when I, I love how, how Tommy I love how Tommy brags of how many plates he has in catering. How many plates he has. Yeah, yeah I, I was in book today, so I, I ate, like, ate uh, 123 uh, pieces <laughs> of sushi. I almost died from iodine poisoning, but I'm still alive. He's very intense. He's intensity <laughs> intensities. Genuinely, he really is. Oh my He's god! Why y'all are best friends, Bubba? Wait a minute. How do you know intensity intensities? Uh, I believe it was in Ready to Rumble. Uh, was it? I think. Do you so. know what intensity intensities is? No. It's in. It's the name of an album. Is your it? homework. Yes, your oh. homework is to is to tell no. me who who which album and which artist. Is it Coldplay? <laughs> it's not? Delete yourself know. from this video. Is it Pearl Jam? <laughs> no. Goo Goo Dolls. <laughs> Goo Goo No. Goo Goo No. Come on now. Uh, yeah. What was that? Is it Matchbox 20? No. No. no? Look at look Is it, it Poison? Poison? <laughs> I, I like gen- that answer the Alice best, Cooper. but it's not Poison. It's eight, eight, our 80s generation? Well, yes. I think it's... I think it's in Ready to Molly Rumble. Crew? Molly Crew? Molly Crew? Molly no. Crew. We're just no. going to keep guessing. And we'll no, just... you don't have to guess anymore. You don't have to <laughs> guess guys, anymore. Anyone that wants to, I will say... to chime in in the comments, please, in the live chat yes. or the comments, yeah, let, let us know. know. Let us know. What, I will Mickey? say that's really refreshing because we were talking, Bubba, and I felt like, you know, that is one thing. Like, it was like, it was tough old school ways, but I do feel like the art of that is lost a little bit. I, I agree. Like we've overcomplicated it and made it more about moves and less about stories and characters and a lot of things where I go like, that's what drew me to wrestling. That's what was always money to me, you know, but the respect thing too, is like, I was taught to shake hands with everyone and there's still times you'll walk in a locker room and it's almost like you feel like you got to walk up to everyone and it's not even a thing, but the thank you, it's not so much the hello. Cause I can, I feel like I can get past that for whatever. It's more of like, if I've, we've done business together or if we've wrestled or done anything and there's not a conversation that happens after the match, I, I get pretty, I get a little heated about that. I, I do will. believe we had this conversation recently. We did. We did. There's the gratuitous thank you. The one that you just have to say. Yeah. But then there are match. the real, there's the real thank yous. Right. Like when somebody really is giving of themselves to you. I remember when I got to work with Sting in TNA, 
Not only did I say thank you to him after the match, I said I texted him the you know l- later that night. I sent him a card, smoke signals, you know, uh, whatever. I, I wanted him to know that I appreciated what he did for me. And we right. actually we actually have a joke about the whole si- situation. He uh, he always he it, we have a word. It's called reverence. And he always talks to me about my reverence for him and for the industry. And that's just the way I am. <clears throat> and if I do something for you, if I'm giving of myself to you and you just hit me with the normal thank you afterwards, but you don't show your true appreciation, I'm not saying anybody has to kiss my ass or anybody else's ass or throw rose petal at my feet, but hey, smarten up. Yeah. Because I didn't have to be this giving to you in this moment. Mm -hmm. I chose to be this giving to you in this moment because I knew it would help you out. Mm -hmm. And that's why I did it. So show your appreciation for it. Yeah, Yeah. I agree. Pay it forward. Yeah, Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. That's totally Absolutely. I feel like we've had you on here forever. I know. You, well, you guys haven't even done a time. shot. I didn't even see um, Val yeah, do a shot. I've been drinking a lot of wine. I've drank a half a bottle of wine. Okay, everybody just... You, Bubba, go ahead. I, I just, have, I just have wine. What do you think? Wine, oh, I got to have so many questions. I had questions in the can. Like, what is your <laughs> favorite moment of your whole wrestling career? But maybe what is your least favorite moment? But I'll ask you, what do you think is the most common misconception about you because I know what mine is. I know what mine is, but I feel like it's, it's kind of given itself away here. I'm going to make this, this is an interesting question, but I'm going to make it more interesting. I'm going to turn it back on all three of you. What's the most common misconception about me and be honest. I think that you're an asshole. I think that's (laughs) okay. And Mickey. Yeah. Mickey, am I an asshole? No, you're honest. You're honest. And sometimes I feel like people don't like to hear. Sometimes people don't like to hear the truth. Yeah, they don't. Like no to hear frills. It. I would say no frills. Yeah. Yes. Val, no frills, yes. no fuss. Val, what's the most common misconception? It, it's that. And like I just said earlier, like I, I don't want to call y'all, but like there's so many different aspects and you're like a little onion. You gotta peel those you can't layers, be an bro. asshole. Let's not get it no twisted. Much- <laughs> yeah, by the way, yeah, you're kind of an asshole. But no, um, I think there's, <laughs> you, know, you know, a loving I think, asshole. I think the fans was- too just they, they, you know, and God bless it. I know a lot of wrestlers that are very just wrestling, wrestling, wrestling. That's all I am. That's all you're gonna get. And there's a lot of people that that are like that. But with you, I think people don't understand that you are well traveled. You're so educated. You're so giving with people, and and you know, giving wisdom to to young people, myself included, these ladies included. And very giving. I just think with that exterior, people don't understand that not only are you a great guy, but you're also somebody who, like I said, well-traveled, educated, and has different interests in life. I don't think people understand that either, which I, th- which I do respect and I like too, because I really feel like sometimes people put too much on social media. They're very, they're too open. And I think it's kind of cool that you have kind of a, a little wall up to who you let in. Yeah. I think that's nice. It's yeah. a good quality. Yeah. yeah. It is it's the quality. same thing. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, you know, um, I, I was so intimidated by you when I first met you. Um, I was like, oh, this guy's going to give me some problems and stuff like that. But when I came back at Hard to Kill to watch Mickey, um, you gave me the biggest hug. And you're like, hey, they don't realize you're, you're hard exterior, but you're a mush inside. And you're oh. actually, and you have a sense of humor. Bush! You're actually you're very funny. funny. You're super Witty. hilarious. And yeah. in, in when you're wrestling style, we don't get to see so much of the humor and the mushiness of you because of your exterior look, you yeah. know what I mean? So people are missing out of all, like all of your personality. Yeah, we're lucky to see that other side. It's, it's, that's, that's Yeah, we are, we are, we are lucky. We are lucky, yeah. yeah. And, and I would venture to say that most people would have the exact same answers as you do. And, you know, growing up, you know, I always compared wrestling to rock and roll. You know, you ask people about Gene Simmons from Kiss. Gene's an asshole. But a lot of people love Gene Simmons, and he's extremely successful. Nikki Six of Motley Crue, he's an asshole, but a lot of people love him, and he's extremely successful. Yeah. I was kind of, I was kind of f- forced into my role because any great, any successful team has to have the one aggressive guy 
and the one passive guy. Mm -hmm. And if we had two, if the Dudleys had two Bubbas, we would never be successful. Yeah, yeah. If we had two Devons, we would never be successful. But the yin and the yang, you know, um, it, it just worked. And I, I took on the role of being the more, you know, the, the, the voice of, of the team and the one who did the business for the team. And that puts you in line for, you know, making the team successful, but also becoming the asshole. Anybody yeah. that's had to do business with me knows you better bring your A game. Yeah, right. When you hang out with me, I'm not an asshole. When I'm when you when we hang out, all we do is laugh and have fun. Yeah, but the business not acumen is it's again even with education and everything I was saying. And to your credit, like the business side is is people don't realize that wrestling is still a business. Like, oh, they're just wrestlers and they're contract or whatever. But there is a lot of business sense that goes into having a career as long and 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 illustrious as yours. So for that reason. I think we should we should raise a shot to you. That's the raise a glass. Raise That's that glass. glass just because it's fun. Yeah. Right. Like a being yeah, that again. Doing it because it's fun. Yeah, it's it, it's fun and that's great, but it's it's it's, it's a lot of hard at work. the end of the day. And yeah. if you're gonna destroy your body and cut years off of your you know life expectancy. You have to do whatever you have to do to make sure you have a boatload of money. And sometimes right. you got to be a little bit of an asshole. Maximize that, the minutes. Is that is a beautiful I mean, statement. Yeah. Put that on a t-shirt, ladies and gentlemen. Sometimes that you got to be a bit of an asshole. I'd like to be a bit more of an asshole. We could all learn something yeah. from public. Cheers, Val, everybody. I, I, don't I, don't think, I don't think you have that in you, Val. I, I, hey, you know what? 36-year-old Val is pr pretty, getting pretty uh, rugged. Uh -oh. you're, getting gri you're getting grizzled? Yeah. Grizzled. El Stiffo. She'll she'll tell the honesty, even if it hurts your feelings. She's done that to me a couple times. Yeah. You know. Oh God. Oh my God. Yeah. Lisa, you're you're age. very you're very subdued. You're always very, you're very like you never you like I've always experienced you. You never want to say the wrong thing. You never want to make anybody uncomfortable. You've no. always been sugary sweet. No, I know. she forgets she's a badass, Bubba. Yeah, you know, no, I no, am no, sweet. no, I am no. actually a real she's sweet sweetest. person, you guys, but I am very I know welcome. she's a badass, but I've never but seen her in other than a smiley. You've never given movie. me any reason to see anything but just loveliness because I, tell I you what, the older I get, the more I'm just like, whatever, this is sugarcoating <laughs> bullshit. I am done. Yeah. Yeah. But um, I, I was, I was treated like shit though. Like you guys, um, Bubba, I was treated like shit when I came back in WWF backstage, and I was like, you know what? How I got treated by some of the people, I will never treat a human like that ever. I'm gonna be the welcoming arm. Like, hey, hey, welcome to. If if they last two days, okay, they last two days. They're not gonna last very long. But who do they? they who are they gonna say? Like, I want to work with Lisa. She you always great. had that reputation, no, Lisa, but, especially with new girls. We talked about that many times on the show, Bubba, by the way, with like yeah, girls and stuff. I just don't have a main name. But some that would be so scared, like, oh, who's this new model? Remember Chelsea, my friend Allison that you know, would come in and do the modeling stuff. Yeah, she's still she's still gorgeous and amazing. And girls, I'm just using her as an example. If you guys are watching and you know who Allison Skipper is, Chelsea, who managed the British Invasion. These girls yeah. that I knew that were models, we use them as examples because some of the girls that were in wrestling in Impact would go, well, who are these girls coming in? And I would go, they're being hired for this specific yeah. set of skills that they have. And don't be mad at them for getting, they don't a, getting the opportunity. No. Don't get mad because yeah. they got the opportunity. You know, yeah. it's, yeah, yeah. And Marissa and, and the girl that you posted about, the girl in the crowd, which I am doing my best to figure out. Wait, what? He what? answered me. Stop wait, what? It. Wait, what? What it's happened to the girls? Oh, when you said, about. who is this? Go ahead. There's, there was. I was going to say, that's my cousin. <laughs> Just a... <laughs> that's my it's sister. There's, there's... What is she? What are you doing with her photo? <laughs> there's this there's this gif out there oh of me God. yelling at this girl in the front row. Yeah. And, and I'm like... completely in full on bully mode. Ra, 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 ra. And she just looks at the camera and goes. And oh, are you serious? So good. And it's this so gift good. is everywhere. So I, I knew we were going to be in uh, close to Orlando last uh, at the last Im impact tapings, right. and I was going to see like if I could find this girl and put her back in the front row and try to recreate that whole moment. So that's why I said, does anybody know who this girl is? And she answered me. She has like seven followers, and I was like, do you still live in Orlando, Val? I thought that was one of your girlfriends. 
no, like I, I had this kind of bevy of blondes whenever like my friends would come to the show. The guys loved it. It was all like the front row was all blondes, but she was kind of a friend of a friend in the front row, but I didn't know her personally. No, but I remember that moment actually happening. Yeah. Yep. So, but, but I, whatever, but yeah, that was a good one. Yeah. She just, I'm so going to do that next time we're in the he's radio. He's yelling and yelling. Can we, can we all do it? Hang on. Yeah, Let's yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god someone please screen cap that for god's sake Bubba you've been so amazing and you've just I mean exceeded our expectations and then the time that we allotted for you so thank you so much wait Lisa's getting, getting taking her stuff. clothes off I, we ain't leaving I yet I, I know what are we doing <laughs> what is this again, what is this amateur again. Hour? old black tongue <laughs> old, strikes again old black tongue black tongue remember well, that what's oh what's that uh, we'll, we'll oh, that's a off, off the record. We'll, we'll wait till final uh, cheer, okay. Bubba. Any, any final words for your fans? We're gonna put all of your links yes. in the description. Of course, they're keeping up to date with you because you're awesome. But any final words for your fans watching at home? No. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Cheers to that. <laughs> I don't need to push anything or plug anything or anything like that. Yeah. So we love have it. a drink. Girls, uh, thanks thank, for having me. I had a great time. Thank you so much. Uh, for love you. Us. Love you so on, much. Bubba. Oh, my gosh. Bubba, love you're the you best. Too. This is the word to go, yo, go.